Okay, class. In this video, we are going to discuss the hemifacial sparum. The hemifacial sparum is a nerve system disorder in which the muscles of one side on the face twitch involuntarily. Because of the, the moving, still the twitching, the moving, we, in Chinese medicine, we also focus on the wind. This is a very similar to the facial paralysis. Exogenous pathogens, internal heat due to stagnation, also can be the internal heat caused the, in, caused the internal wind. In and blood deficiency also may result in the internal wind. So the stuck, either the stagnation or the wind results in the sparing of the muscles. There are many possible causes of this problem, such as the emotion or stress, fatigue. However, the actual cause of this problem from conventional medicine point of view is still unclear. Our treatments from acupuncture, we will focus on activating qi and blood circulation and block meridians. We use acupuncture with a reducing technique or the evil manipulation technique. The main points, Sanjiao 17, blood 2, actual points, HM5, Sanjiao 18, large time 4, level 3. Due to wind cold, GB20, due to wind heat, large internal 11, summer 44. Internal wind due to deficiency, kidney 3, spleen 6, due to pointify, like kidney in and spleen in, level in from san jiao, san yin jiao, the spleen 6. The large intestine 4, also from the the poem, that's anything related to the face or the mouth, you're going to use large intestine 4. So that's one of the function for large intestine 4. You can, it can be used for anything related to the face or mouth. When we use large intestine 4 and liver 3, when we combine these two together, actually four points on both sides, we call the four paths or four gates. It can enhance the function of stopping wind and stopping sparrow. So large intestine four and level three. After studying the facial paralysis, we will notice most points on the face. We also can apply similar technique of the three needle. We use one needle to connect different points. So that also can be applied on these points. The needle technique. Firstly, you going to needle the large intestine four followed by San 17, and then you can use the other points. Light manipulation should be applied on the local points. Because the sparrow is something moving, we don't want to, especially for the electrical stimulation, we, we shouldn't use strong manipulation. We also, sometimes we also stress to do not use the electrical stimulation in this situation. So light manipulation. You also can use a three edge needle technique to prick to cause bleeding, auricular acupuncture, shengmeng, something related to the eyes, some error that related to the eyes, cheek, with the feet from needles, all the seeds. Skin needle technique mainly focus on the local points. Cupping, you also can use electrical stimulation if you want to use light manipulation, skull acupuncture. You also can apply once a day. 
The next thesis that we are going to introduce is the facial pain. The facial pain, after study the facial paralysis, the facial pain and the facial sparrow will be very easy to understand. But what's important in these two diseases is that you need to remember the definition. Only when you remember the definition, you will recognize in the, in the clinic and then you can apply the treatments. The facial pain is an, an excruciating pain. So this pain is extremely painful. Mostly on one side, the patient also may present as a red like electric, electric shock. Burning sensation and in, intolerable. So mostly related to the, the nerve, but not only. So it depends on which area affected the patient may present a different area. The most common medical condition is related to the nerve. If a patient comes to you with this problem, then you can apply treatments according to facial pain, but the facial pain has a broader range than the trigeminal neuralgia. The etiology, still the wind, fire, heat, or liver yang. Liver yang also kind of heat, although this is deficiency heat. Stagnation, blastasis, invaded the yang mi meridian. That's because the distribution of the yami meridian, especially the foot yami meridian, is on the face. Many associated with the liver and stomach may involve the spleen and kidney, especially after long term. We may involve the spleen and kidney, facial pain. A blood onset, excruciating electrical shock pain stabbing pain or burning sensation, hearing, drooling, running nose, and facial sparrow. It can be from a few minutes, a few seconds to a few minutes. Mother stimulation may trigger the pain, such as poking, swallow, brushing teeth, or washing face may trigger the pain. When cold, when heat, cheese and blood stagnation. So these are very similar to the other diseases that we have introduced on the face. The facial sparrow, the facial paralysis. Especially after long term, we always focus on qi and blood. Treatment. Unblock the meridian. The main points, the local points, and the hand and foot yummy meridians. Some are two, some are seven, some are four. Brother two, large enough four, some are 44, and liver three. Still, the, the pain related to, to the face, large enough one four, and liver three. And stomach meridian, stomach yummy meridian. When cold, you can add lung 7, when heat, blood intestine 11, sun jiao 5, heat stagnation, pericardium 6, spring 6. You also, you also may select the points that's according to the location. If the first branch, or the forehead, you can add sun jiao 26, 23, GB 14. Middle branch, San Jiao 18, Summer 7, the lower branch, Rong 24, and it's Summer 6, San Jiao 17. So these are some points that you can select. But no matter which points that you are going to select, the points on the face, the local points, but you have to use the fluid needle technique. Also, try to 
to use the light manipulation technique. Due to wind cold, you also can apply the moss deduction. First need needle the distal points and then the local points. Sui needle technique. Su needle technique. Three edge needle you also can use or to create auricular acupuncture you also can use. For this problem, apart from the treatment, sometimes we also need to try to identify the possible cause or the potential causes. Otherwise, acupuncture may help to relieve the pain, the pain temporarily if it, the, the cause is still there. The problem is not easy to be healed. So the general principle for this problem, the local points, light manipulation technique, with you can keep the needle for a longer period. The distal points, you can use the strong or heavy manipulation technique. Especially uh, if the patient comes to you in the acute onset, so the patient is experiencing the severe pain, then you can use the strong manipulation technique. Thank you for your attention.